For a long time, it looked like streaming services were going to be taking over the spot of premium cable channels. And I think for the most part, they are kind of still doing that. But still, right now, as time goes on, it's looking like streaming services are kind of shifting away from how they were kind of that made them stand apart from other cable platforms and are more kind of going back to how things used to be. And what I mean by that is usually you used to watch the premium cable channels and I'm talking like stars, HBO, Showtime, and you want to have advertisements or anything like that on it. And now the streaming services are kind of shifting back to have more ad supported tiers. And right now we got Prime Video, which is the latest streaming platform that's actually going to be offering an ad supported tier. Now they maintain that it's going to be limited advertisements as it's not going to affect everyone and everything on it but still they're shifting it in a way that is probably going to affect most users for it so let's just look at this article from deadline that has a little bit more of the details on this matter on january 29th commercials will be introduced to series and movies airing on the services in the us uk germany and canada that will be followed by france italy spain mexico and australia later in the year amazon did say this new move won't affect content that you purchase or rent on amazon prime but Let's be honest, everything that you purchase on there is basically a glorified rental. I mean, that's just digital media in general. If you want to hear more information on that, check out my video on Sony removing content from their PlayStation Store. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. But this is basically going to affect everyone who has a current Amazon Prime subscription because with the existing subscription that you have right now, you will have to get ads on it or you're going to have to pay more to get the ad free version of it. And they say right here, the ad free version will be an additional $2.99 per month and you can pre-register now, but you won't be affected until January 29th when this policy goes into play. Naturally, this move angers a lot of users who are questioning why are they actually paying a premium for these streaming platforms if they're going to have to watch them with ads anyway. Because, I mean, the whole draw to streaming platforms in the past was, you know, the get away from the cable. Like, you hear that? Cut the cable so you can just go to streaming platforms. Uh, you can pay less, you can get more, and you don't even have to watch ads. I mean, it sounded like a good deal 10 years ago when that was kind of rolling out, but that's not necessarily the case anymore because a lot, the fact of the matter is a lot of these streaming platforms just aren't profitable. In fact, most of them are actually operating at a loss because they're so expensive to operate and things like that, and they're paying a lot for the content that they're producing. So they need to make more money because from business standpoints go, they need to constantly increase the revenue that they're generating, and a lot of them aren't even making any money so far so they need to do something disney made that announcement last summer that they're going to be shifting to more of an ad supported tier because it's more profitable for them to have people watch it with ads versus having them pay a premium to actually watch it without ads which means this isn't going to be the first increase in pricing if you want to watch it without ads amazon prime said it's going to be 2.99 a month but i'm thinking that's probably going to go up because what they ultimately want to do is they're going to keep their ad supported tier probably relatively the same but the ad free version they're going to keep upping the price until eventually people just stop watching that and then just start going to the ad supported version and then once they get most users on there that's kind of where they want you at and it's not to the benefit of the user but it is to the benefit of the company uh it did say in the article from deadline right now apple tv is the only one that doesn't have an ad supported tier but they're probably going to go that way because if everyone else in the industry is doing that, then why shouldn't they too? I mean, that's just like leaving money on the table at that point. And it is kind of sad because I did like it when basically the streaming services were going to take over for cable, but instead they're basically becoming an extension of cable. Right now you have cable providers like Charter TV, for instance, made that deal with Disney where you can have Disney Plus, ESPN Plus bundled into your cable package. So when you get certain tiers of your cable packages as an add-on, you can have access to these streaming platforms as well. So they're not becoming their own separate entity, but becoming basically gobbled up by the cable providers because the cable providers are basically losing out so they needed to have some way of recouping their audience right now and if this is going to be how it goes where the streaming services or we're supposed to replace cable are basically becoming an entity of cable then you're going to have people kind of go back to what they used to do now i'm not advocating for people to do anything illegal right now but this is just going to be the natural consequences because people don't want to have to be nickeled and dimed to watch their favorite content they would choose rather just to go somewhere else if that's the case